The first part of the rule states the opponent's half. An attacker can be considered offside only in the opposition's half. So no matter how many defenders are present in the defensive half, the attacker will never be in an offside position. Secondly, the ball. A player is not offside as long as they are behind the line of the ball. So even with no defenders present, as long as the attacker is behind the line of the ball when it's played, then they are always considered as onside. Thirdly, the second to last defender. It's easy to forget that the goalkeeper is also considered a defender, and so to be onside there must be at least two defending players between the attacker and the goal line. If, for example, the keeper has rushed off his line with the defender covering the goal, the attacker here would still be considered as offside, as there is only one player ahead of them and the goal line. 